Don't you just love happy customers? They buy more from your Shopify store, leave glowing reviews, and tell their friends and family about their great experience. So how do you make sure their experience is fantastic? The answer, you focus on designing and updating your store based on their behavior. The Swedish Quality Represent the North Company, better known as SQRTN Company, sells unique, high-quality clothes and accessories. The team wanted to find ways to improve its customer experience and needed to spot areas that cause pain points and barriers to conversions. I'm Andrew with Lucky Orange, and we're going to dive headfirst into the customer experience. I'm going to explore SQRTN Company's website to spot areas that may be hurting that experience and then use Lucky Orange conversion funnels, session recordings, and dynamic heat maps to evaluate what we find. Let's get started by checking out the SQRTN Company website. Here we are at the homepage. I'm loving this theme. The homepage feels clean and professional, but still very inviting. I do notice three things. One, the call to actions on the hero images as well as the featured collections aren't very noticeable. Because it's white on a transparent background, the buttons easily get lost in the image. Speaking of your featured collections, are these your top collections? I'll show you how to evaluate them. And three, how are people using your hamburger menu? Visitor behavior is going to be the key to finding the answers to these questions. It will help us see what visitors and customers really experience. Let's head over to the Lucky Orange Conversion Funnels to get started. Located in the dashboard, the conversion funnel shows paths that visitors take to an endpoint, like a conversion. So for SQRTN Company, the conversion funnel is viewed product, added to cart, and then ordered. To make your own conversion funnel, you first need to set up behavior tags. To get started, go to the settings cog by your name and click behavior tagging from the list on the left. At this point, it's just filling in the blanks with your information. I'll add a link to our help documentation in the description below to help guide you through the process, but it's very simple. With behavior tags in place, you can now set up the conversion funnel. If this is your first conversion funnel, you'll need to click on the button for Get Started. If you're like SQRTN company and have already created a conversion funnel and want to create another one, simply click on the plus sign and follow the two-step process. As you can see with SQRTN company's funnel, 74% of visitors left after adding a product to their cart. If we click on that step in the funnel, it will show us all of the visitors who view the product, add it to the cart, but didn't complete the ordering process. You can see that this table has a plethora of wonderful information, especially the device column that shows that there are a large number of people who visit from mobile. We'll keep that in mind as we evaluate the homepage. So now we're going to click on a recording. Session recordings act like a DVR for your website and show you exactly what happened during their visit. If you go to visitor information, you can see that this person came from a mobile device. So if there was an issue that showed up during their session, you could isolate it to a browser, a device, or something that affects more customers. Now we can watch this whole thing. It takes about four minutes. But what we're going to do is go to the page dropdown and jump to the last page in the session. This is going to show us just the, the product that this person added to the cart. So in this case, it's a great black cap and they're very interested in it, so they add it to the cart. But when they get to the cart, they don't see a checkout button. The newsletter tab shows instead. So it's adding a little difficulty for them to check out. So they're idle, which just means they're not active on that page. They could be talking to kids, maybe trying to figure out how to scroll down. It's hard to say. But eventually they're going to scroll down to the point of checking out. Now, they still don't check out though. This would have been a great opportunity for a chat to pop up 
and ask them, do you have any questions I can answer for you? How can I help you today? In case they ran into a different issue that's making them change their mind here. Now moving on, we're going to head over to Lucky Orange Dynamic Heat Maps to dive deeper into the homepage. Lucky Orange Dynamic Heat Maps show you where people click and how far they scroll on a web page. Right now we're looking at a click heat map which shows aggregated clicks. The brighter the color, the more clicks the element has received. Though learning Swedish is on my to-do list, for now we'll translate it into English. Since most of the traffic to SQRTN company is mobile, let's go to the device and switch it over to phone. Right now, we're only looking at mobile visitors. Right off the bat, I see that visitors are scrolling through the hero images. Some collections are definitely more popular than others, but I would test out making that call to action button stand out even more. While we're on the top of the home page, I'm going to click into the hamburger menu. That newsletter tab is in the way again. It's not getting any clicks, making it ineffective at collecting email addresses, and it could be costing you conversions. Think about it. If I'm a first time visitor, I don't know that I want to get your emails or even become a customer yet. But if I'm trying to check out, I would be annoyed and frustrated by a tab that I can't close and that's preventing me from buying your products. I would ditch the newsletter tab completely and replace it with a poll. Instead of showing it as a default to everyone once they get on your site, you could trigger it to ask someone if they're interested in signing up for your newsletter after they've added a product to their cart or checked out. When you base it on their behavior and engagement with your store, you trigger it for those people who are most primed for it. Polls also are easily closed, which the current newsletter tab lacks and desperately needs. Back to the hamburger menu. For mobile optimization, you really want to keep it between four and eight items on that top level navigation. So this navigation is a little bit too long. As you can see, there are certain collections that get more clicks than others. This highlights the need to condense them into top level collections with drop downs into sub collections. I will add for those eagle eye watchers out there that hat and hats are the result of an English translation. They are separate collections. Hat, the more popular of the two, is more like a ball cap. Hats is more like a beanie. Now, we need to remember that a hat, the ball cap, t-shirts, hoodies, and kids are the top four collections from the hamburger menu. We're gonna remember that as we go to the homepage. Let's scroll down to see what their feature items. We have children's wear, kids, posters, and accessories. I was just replacing these with some of your more popular collections to see if that can get more interest in your homepage as well. But let's just say it this way, visitor behavior is showing you exactly what your visitors want. To recap this website analysis of SQRTN company, one, make sure your call to action buttons stand out. Test different color combinations to see if you can get more clicks. Two, optimize your navigation for those mobile visitors. Condense your collections and utilize sub collections for easier navigation on the hamburger menu. Three, replace the newsletter tab with a poll. Because you can trigger it based on their behavior, you can ask visitors and customers to join your newsletter when they're most interested and primed to say yes. SQRTN company is on such a great path. The team has created an amazing website for fantastic products. And with visitor behavior, this Shopify store is going to grow even more. To try Lucky Orange on your Shopify store, find us in the Shopify app store. You can also find us online at luckyorange.com. To watch more website analysis videos like this one, be sure to click on the subscribe button below.